Oh, there we go. There's the fish. Yeah, finally. Good morning folks, November 5th, 2023. I'm on the upper end of Truman Lake and do a little catfishing today. Getting kind of a late start. It's about 11.30 in the morning. Just got set up here, kind of up on a flat, anchored down, throwing out into the channel. A little cut shad, just got my first bite. A little blue. Yeah, nice little blue. Yeah. There we go. Nice little blue cat. It's a good way to start. See if we can catch some more. Can't get any radio reception up here i'm trying to listen to the chiefs game but all i can do is get the box scores it sounds like it's a heck of a game i probably should have stayed home and watched it it's such a beautiful day I hate to stay inside here we go here's a bite come on come on him oh yeah all right maybe these fish are gonna bite in here feels like another little blue that one's also on a side piece Using Santee Cooper rigs, kind of my standard anchoring rig. I got a two ounce weight, little peg float, another little blue. Boy, that thing is muddy. They're on the bottom, I'd say. On a little side piece. Mm, come out of there now. Yep. Yeah. A little side chunk. He cleaned that one out. There we go. Another little keeper blue cat. All right. Pretty quick. I got a little headpiece laying here. I'm going to be lazy and put it on, even though both those fish would come on side pieces. That channel out there is about 19 feet deep, and boy, it is showing a lot of fish out there. All kinds of fish, bait fish, catfish. So, we'll see if we can pick off a few of them in, in the middle of that thing. Pulled up on the edge of this channel. It's a muddy, muddy bank. Up on top, I got my two power poles in the back down and my power pole micro anchor in the front. So it looks like I'm just sitting out here in the middle, but it's really shallow up in front of me. Man, I was checking the chief score and one of my rods went down. And there's like a minute and 10 seconds left. Miami has the ball, third and 10. It's 21 to 14. Come on, Chiefs. Wish I could get it on the radio. There's no reception up here. There, there he is. That 
one had it and was running at me with it. All right. That one's on a little headpiece. I don't, I don't think it matters if it's a headpiece or side piece. Look just like the other two. They're all alike. This little keeper blue cats. If you want to get a mess of fish to eat, boy, these would be good. Get that old George Young Jr. BM 9 aught hook out of it. I'm telling you. They're got. They're got. There we go. Get my rod back out there before I bait. I gotta see what the score is. Oh, how can it take so long to run off a minute and ten seconds or minute and two seconds? Miami still has the ball. 14, 21, Chiefs. Come on, Chiefs! We're in a few little blue cats right here. I, I could tell in that channel we pulled in here there were a lot of, a lot of fish on the bottom. I didn't, wasn't seeing, wasn't marking any real big fish. But boy, there were a lot of little fish. We need a big one to come run through there and run them all off and eat my shad. Cut shad. That's on a three-way rig. I got two three-way rigs. Oh, I just threw it off. And four Santee Coopers. I just threw that bait off. Two ounce weights. Nothing heavy. B&M rods. Oh, 26 seconds left. Kansas City has the ball. All right, 14-21. I'd say we're going to win. It's final, 14-21. Kansas City victorious. Yay, Chiefs. Now, if we could just catch us about a 60-pound catfish, it'd be a glorious day. There we go. Here we go. Yep. Oh, that one, that one feels like it might be a little better. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's pulling drag. Pulling drag. It's on the old three-way rig I just threw out there with that little headpiece on it. Oh, he came at me and now he's going away, come on. Yeah, I like it. Man, this rod, it's got a nice soft tip, but good backbone. This is a B&M Silver Cat Elite Light, seven and a half foot. Come on, baby. Yeah, keep pulling a little drag there. We're going to have to get the net out on this one. Let's see if we can walk it around the camera and under the rods. Get it over here to the side. Oh, no, I got that other rod. Yeah. Come on, baby. That's a better fish. He wants to act like a big one. Oh, yes. Dandy. There. Oh, 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 come on now. Oh, yeah. Yep. Ha-ha, <laughs> got it. Nice fish. All right. Get that one in the pole holder. Yeah. All right.
There's that better fish I wanted to swim in through there. See if I can get the old hook out. Man, he's got it too. There you go. There's the hook. Get him down here. Get the net out of the way. Got this line wrapped all around my others. Another old big boy might want to come along while I'm messing with him. Yeah. All right. That's a chunky little fish. Come on, uncurl your tail. Yeah, you talking. Let's see how long it is. That fish is right at 32 inches long. 32 incher in the slot for sure. Let's see if I don't have a scale. There we go. That's 13, 14. Almost 14 pounds. 13, 14. Nice fish. I'd take those all day. All right, we'll get you back, my friend. There you go. All right, yeehaw, Chiefs win, good fish. Let's get baited up. I'm gonna put another headpiece on there, what do you think? I've got 80 pound triple fish camo leader it's a mono in a camo color it's multicolored i like it i just got uh 40 pound trilene big game on the reel kind of like this little area i've never fished here before Probably be back. Oh, bite out here on the outside rod. Come on. Oh, yeah. Got it, I think. It's a little one. Yeah. And I was just thinking about leaving. It's been about 10 or 15 minutes since I've had a bite. I'm getting a little impatient. All right, that's the smallest one yet, I'd say. Eight ahead piece. All right, well, that'd make a nice sandwich. All right, folks, it's been about 15 minutes since I've had a bite in here. I can't decide if I want to go that way. There's a little spot on the map. Looks like a little choke point in the channel, a little bitty point coming out. Maybe a little deeper hole out in front of it. That looks good to me. Or if I want to go right up there, there's a cove back over here to my left and breaks off the channel, kind of runs up into that cove thinking about getting on the point of that, throwing both ways back toward shallower water and still back out in the channel. I don't know. We'll see what happens when I get them all in. I'm gonna scan them both first. See which one looks like it's got the most fish.
Where are we going? Well, that didn't take long. Man, I mean, that didn't take two minutes. I just got me a little lunch power bar out. Hmm. Okay, I decided to go this way from where we were. I actually went in that cove, set up for about 10 or 15 minutes. Nothing. So then I came back out here. Should have stayed out here. No giant. But she'd go in the live well if we were keeping any. Don't do that now. Don't do me that way just because I stuck a hook in your face. You don't have to be mean about it. Let's see how long that fish is, just for giggles. That fish is 21 and a half inches long. That was on a side piece. Okay, give me a side piece. Give me another side piece. That little fish took her right down, I mean. Didn't mess around with it. It's lunchtime, you're eating? I'm eating. Boom. All right, come on, rest of you guys. Get in the ball game. Put fresh bait on everything when I got in here. Can't beat fresh bait. Get back to my peanut butter chocolate power bar for lunch. All right. Interrupt me again. See if I care. Oh, there we go. I said I will interrupt you again. All right, quit messing with it. Let's get on with it. In the immortal words of Brian Sowers, let's get it on. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's it. That's that same rod, isn't it? I think it is. Another little side piece. Come on, one of you others go down while I'm back here. Oh, yeah. Looks like the same fish. That's a little smaller. Going the wrong way. I want them to get bigger, not smaller. That little side piece. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's make a move. Seems like you pull up here, they bite right off the bat, catch two or three, and they just quit. It's kind of like crappie on Lake of the Ozarks in the wintertime. You find a huge ball of crappie, pull in there, catch a few, and then bam. They just quit. It's kind of what these fish are doing today. 
All right, folks, that's going to do it for me. It's about 2.30. Wind's starting to pick up. I'm going to call it a day. I've had fun today. Didn't catch anything real big. Caught one good one in the teens. Uh, a lot of eater fish. But anyway, it's been a beautiful day. I'm just blessed to be able to come out here and fish. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'll put up a couple of more at the end of this, a couple of catfishing videos. If you want to click on those, there'll be more videos to watch. But I appreciate you being with me. See you next time.